it's a mess because you're working hard. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, ok. Euh, attends, attends, mais non, il faut, faut que je la remette en normal là. Vas-y, fait. Hein? Ah, tu l'as remis en yeah. disable? Yeah. Ok, pardon. We have two SL1 here, two SL2 and two SL2. So, we know it's not supposed to work, but it's just about testing the different models. And that's our chronometer. This is what we're using to test the trigger precision. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's lock the mirror and triggers. We get all the files and we can uh, measure um, on each image how many LEDs we see. So these are the two FL3 and we can see that it's almost the same number of LEDs on, on both panels which means that they trigger uh, at the exact same uh, milliseconds. I actually, each uh, row is uh, one fourth of a millisecond, so it's 250 microseconds. And both the SL3 almost trigger at the same time. And this is the SL2. And we see that there is a much bigger difference between the the, the two SL2, there are actually three rows of difference. So, so this is still less than one millisecond, but uh, it's it's more than the, the SL3. Yeah, one millisecond is enough to freeze the subject. Yes. Uh, and we can also see that they triggered before the SL3, so they were faster than the SL3. And the two SL1, they are brighter. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because they are more uh, worn than the... Uh, SL2. And they, oh, they are super old also. And this time they had a good synchronization, but usually it's, uh, it's, uh, it's less than the SL2. And they trigger even faster. Okay, so globally, the each camera model is tight with each other, but between the three models, there's Huge shot difference. Yeah, yeah. The, the shot of delay varies a lot, and and when the mirror lockup is enabled, the FL3 three are uh, slower, uh, but they, they give a, a better synchronization. Yeah, one tenth of a second slower. Yes. So that that might be an issue if you want to like to get your subject uh, while jumping, but may, maybe not. But we can hear that there's a slight difference. The SL3 triggers after the others but they are always tighter between each other so this is the, the the more accurate camera we've ever tested yeah even when we disable the mirror lockup and that's the new thing here yeah. <laughs> you don't that's even crazy. need the mirror lockup on the yeah. fs3 yeah. on, on that series usually we need the mirror lockup on the sl1 and sl2 we need mirror lockup to to get precision sl3 doesn't matter same result uh quarter of a millisecond precision it's Crazy. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't change the shutter lag, which is surprising because on the SL1 and SL2, if you put the mirror lockup, they are faster to trigger, but on the SL3, it's the exact same shutter delay, uh, whether or not you enable the uh, mirror lockup. So that's a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else? Yep, it's pas mal ça. Mais c'est ça en fait, c'est que les, le, 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 le shutter lag sur les SL1 et SL2 diminue énormément quand on active le mirror lockup. On, on, on le sent que c'est plus rapide, que c'est plus snappy que quand il euh, n'y a pas le mirror lockup. Okay. Okay.